You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here and welcome to episode number 4 of Deploying Dortmund. We are in the quarterfinals of the Gold Cup, having won the Silver Cup and making our first two gold signings in the last episode. So if you missed that, go back and watch it. I will put a link on screen as I will with every other episode from now on so you can get between the episodes quickly and easily. Now, if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team Coins, go and check out FIFA Coins Online's Facebook page. It is down in the description of this video. Drop the Facebook page a like and then head over to their main website and you can buy as many coins as you could ever want. Now, I have to say before this episode properly starts, I do know the thumbnail is spelled incorrectly. It says deploying instead of deploying. It was an in-joke between me and Bates and 87 as if you had watched Mission Manchester, you would have realised that every single thumbnail in that series was misspelled. It said Mission Manchester. However, I feel that the joke in this series may have worn a little bit thin quite quickly as you guys seem to be putting it in the comments pretty much every day or on every episode so far. So I will go back and change them and I will start using the correct spelling thumbnail from now on hope you've enjoyed that and uh, if you think I'm a knob well that's your opinion and I am probably a knob to be honest so there we go um, we are in our game and we are 1-1 at this point that ball agonizingly crept towards the uh, the back of the net and it required Sinclair to come in and finish it off to give him a 1-1 position however we go back into the lead through Hoffman who is a non-rare bronze player that we got from a start pack he is German so he does get some chemistry in this squad and uh, manages to make it 2-1 it then goes 3-1 again Hoffman getting the goal and uh, Sheba was doing some good work this is a really nice goal from him uh, you know using fake shots just to get past the player and absolutely hooning that one into the back of the net to give us the 4-1 victory great work from the team Sheba has now scored three in two games which is pretty good going to be honest uh, for a striker you know I'm looking for at least one goal per game from my strikers and if he's you know exceeding that I am happy with that I will show the stats maybe in a couple of episodes time just so that you can see like how, how many goals they're sort of all scoring and uh, I want to you know play them out for a little bit just just before we start yeah, actually showing you because it doesn't make much sense to show you how the stats after like one game or something like that with each player so we went away and made a signing we have bought Schmelzer for our team the left back he's going to be playing in the center back position for now uh, put a 352 card on him and uh, there you go he gets the check mark on the checklist and as I said in the last episode I will be changing the formation from 352 during this series so don't worry it's not permanent I'd have to just reiterate that just in case someone missed it in the last episode and I explained my reasons why in that episode if you want to go back and watch it so here we go we are now going into the semi-final of the gold cup and we come up against a 4-1-2-1-2 Brazilian team Wagner Love, Pato, Lucas, Hulk, Robinho, Marcelo, Jonathan, he's also got Naldo, and he's got Lucio. I looked at Lucio and I was like, well, he can't be that good. If he's using Lucio, you have to have something wrong with you. He hasn't got all that much pace. Did take the lead through Hoffman, a very nice goal from him, just sneak it under the keeper. He managed to come back into the game, that was just really annoying. It's one of those ones where you make the tackle, it bounces off one of your player's legs, the snow wasn't helping at all, and he ends up 1-1. But we went back into the lead, bit and caught tramps it over to Sheba and Sheba does put it into the back of the net it was very important that we took that lead as there wasn't any more goals throughout the entire game we had one chance in the 90th minute hit the well the keeper saved it it came off the woodwork and uh, fortunately we do take the 2-1 victory so we're going to make the biggest signing of this series so far we are buying big Lewandowski for the team got him in our formation 2200 coins 83 rated rare player he is signed for this episode we are only allowed to sign one rare per episode as you should all know by now and you can see him there going into the squad I hope he scores an absolute ton of goals for us because he is a great player does mean also that we have Borussia Dortmund players in every single position now and he does get the check on the checklist so he's the highest rated one that we have in the team so far now we are going in to the final of the Gold Cup this is a very important game if we won this first time round this is our first attempt at winning the Gold Cup I would be absolutely astonished after how much trouble I had in Mission Manchester to actually win the title so you can see the team on screen at the moment um, obviously we're playing uh, right wing backs left wing backs in the right and left mid position and also left and right backs in the centre back positions but other than that we're getting almost full chemistry so um, we're almost there we're almost there it's not going to take too long before we have a full chem team and uh, we go into the final and I couldn't have hoped for anything better look at his team it's got you know orange formation boxes all over the places 
It's got, you know, players that are decent but not absolutely incredible. Um, and we take the lead. Great shot from Bacalors, our bronze CDM. Can't believe that went in. He just fake shots, come back, absolutely smashes it. And we had a replica goal, however, this time it ricocheted. But Sheba took down the goal anyway, continuing on his one goal per game ratio. In fact, even higher than that, as I said in the uh, last match. But he scores again. This time the keeper couldn't handle it. Um, comes back out to his feet. We're 3-0 up in the final. We're looking pretty confident, to be honest. And uh, look at that. Oh, my God. Bittencourt, you are an absolute legend. That was an absolute screamer from outside the box. Really nice goal. And we are 4-0 up. However, I did make a mistake in the box, passing it to one of his players, Michel Bastos there, finishing it pretty nicely after the bad pass out. So it's 4-1, and we made it 5-1. Lewandowski getting his debut goal for the club in his first match. So very nice goal from him. Diving header to boot out of the near post. And we go 6-1 up when the ball ricochets off his keeper. Sheba getting a hat-trick, and we take down the final. So that is absolutely great work from the team. Now, I've got to have a little rant at this point because I was laughed at the other day when I said that when you matchmake against an opponent on Ultimate Team, the matchmaking service actually takes into consideration your number of games or how good you are. Maybe it's like a hidden ranking point system. I don't really know. But it seems that as you play more games, you will come up against more difficult opponents. And I'll give you a good example of this. I've just won the Gold Cup first time round. Absolutely no problem problems. I think that I, the hardest uh, game I had was 2-1. Um, won the final 6-1. And... I was using a like goal team with not full chemistry, I had bronze players in it, it was a bit dodgy, a bit ropey, and I was on the Mission Manchester account, as you all know, I played the Gold Cup at the end of the series, I had about 200, 300 games on that account or something like that, and it took me the best part of eight attempts to win that Gold Cup, probably even more, and I was using a really strong team, like 4-1-2-1-2, full goal team with team of the season players in it and stuff like that and I really really struggled with it so it sort of like goes to show that there must be some sort of matchmaking because I was coming up against much more difficult opponents in Mission Manchester in that gold cup than I was in this gold cup that I you know I'm playing at the moment on this new account so I think that you find easier opponents on new accounts that's what I'm trying to get at and uh, I, it was just annoyed me the fact that people laughed at me because um, they said that that's stupid that you you know you get matched up against whoever's available in the gold cup but it doesn't seem that way because otherwise I would have not won that gold cup so easily now uh, that's the run over put down in the comment section what you think um, I'd really like to see your thoughts and uh, what you think about it maybe you've got two accounts maybe one with loads of game one with new and you find it much easier to win on the new account I'd love to hear your thoughts on it anyway we've opened our gold pack for winning that tournament unfortunately we get absolutely jack shit um, so unfortunately there's not much to, uh, you know, make, we can't make much money off that pack, but we did get the coins from obviously winning the tournament as well, and there's a few consumables that we can use for the uh, for the thing, including a 3-5-2 card as well. So guys, if you could drop a like on this video, that would be amazing. The support that you've given me on this series so far has been incredible. I mean, every episode has hit over a thousand likes, which is great. It's really, really cool, and I hope that we can keep it up. If you could get this to another thousand likes, I'd be amazingly appreciative of that so i'm going to have to leave it there i hope you've enjoyed the episode but i will stop talking and i will see you all next time